Pope Francis says, All religions lead to God. We are all children of God. The latest statements from the Pope at the Interreligious Youth Gathering in Singapore on September 13, 2024, highlight a new teaching which is not Catholic, saying that any religion leads to God. I will play the video as we examine the context of his talk in order to confirm the veracity of what I am saying now. I can see very clearly that instead of proclaiming the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, for which many martyrs have shed their blood, Pope Francis is teaching people to stay confident in their religions instead of proclaiming Christ. They are okay, he would say. Apparently, Catholics are not different than them. He didn't go to proclaim the gospel just to show how friendly and open he is. Tutte le religioni sono un cammino per arrivare a Dio. Because every religion is a way to arrive at God. According to his teachings, people of other religions don't need to be baptized and saved by a God who became man and died for us on the cross. Interpreting those statements from a Christian Catholic point of view, no one needs to repent, because there is no hell. His teachings assume that after death, God will welcome everyone in heaven. And Francis says that there are different languages and religions to arrive at God. Sono, dirò una comparazione, sono come diverse lingue, diverse idiomi per arrivare lì. Sort of a comparison, an example would be there are sort of like different languages in order to arrive at God. I would add that all religions will lead us to God in the end, but only to face judgment and to be rewarded or punished according to the Holy Scriptures. E noi sono idiomi, cammino, lingue per arrivare a Dio. There's only one God and each of us is a language, so to speak, in order to uh, arrive at God. Qualcuno è schi, qualcuno è musulmano, qualcuno è indi, qualcuno è cristiano, Indo, ma Christian. sono diversi cammini. There, there are different paths. Is what Francis is saying true or false? If it is true, then the entire Bible is wrong, and Jesus is wrong too. It would mean that Christ suffered for nothing. Christ would have been just a fanatic man who died on a cross. Our Catholic faith would be the same as worshipping holy cows, elephants, snakes, or worshipping gods with four hands. If what he says is correct, then it means that Francis, the head of the militant Catholic Church, knows more than what the Church has taught us for 2,000 years, and that he is actually changing our Catholic faith with new teachings or relativism. It means that worshipping any god is the same as the worship due to the only true God, the one we worship in our Catholic Church. If it's wrong, then all the statements he made are blasphemy, very serious heresies, a true offense to the precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of our only Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, true God and true man and that offends to our Catholic faith. May the Lord help us all to discern his voice. May God have mercy on Francis. Let us pray for his true conversion to Catholicism. Here are some verses from the Holy Scriptures to confirm our true Catholic faith. Psalm 96 verse 5 for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Isaiah 7, 
verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a child, and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us, Jesus. John 1, verse 14. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 11, verse 25. Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. John 6, verse 44. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. John 10, verse 9. I am the gate. Whoever enters through will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. Acts 4, verses 11 to 12. Jesus is the stone you build is rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved, only Jesus. Apocalypse 22, verse 13. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Matthew 10, verses 32, 33. Whoever acknowledged me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Baltimore Catechism 152 The one true Church established by Christ is the Catholic Church. Mark 16 verses 15 and 16 Jesus said to the Apostles, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized, he will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. John 14, verse 6 I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 11, verse 25 Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die.